Hi, it's Deborah from Join a Journal. I've got another journal to show you today. So this is one that I kind of picked up that I was doing a while ago and I picked up and finished it while I was waiting to get some new boards. So it's musical themed. These papers are by Stamperia. So I just bought the pad and probably used almost all of it. So it's measurements eight and a half inches tall by six inches wide. And it's got a two and a quarter inch curved spine. So this is the the cover. It's got this lovely hand painted spine, curved spine. You can just see in there with some cheesecloth at the top and the bottom. Then on the back, it's a distressed crackle effect finish. So I'll just check. We're in frame and we'll have a look. So in this front cover I've put a little pocket. I managed to get a couple of the piano rolls. So I've just covered this envelope with a piano roll. If you remember this was one of the envelopes I got with the Tally Air box. So I just used that and covered that. This is the front page and I've put one of the vellum music notes got another one here I put one of those over the top of this image and just stitched it round with a small zigzag in this is lots of um, vintage music pages from old music books so this is one of the covers here and this again was from the subscription box it's amazing grace some more of the paper lots of tea stain paper as usual for journaling as usual, it's got eight signatures with approximately eight sheets in each. This is from another sheet music book, The Lady of the Rose. I'm not sure of the age of those, but I've had them quite a long time. This is a book of nursery rhymes. and It's got one of the little tags. There's a, a page tab there. Writing paper. This is one of the cards that came with all the stationery ephemera that I've got. So I'll just put that on there. This is one of the dictionary. What I generally do is go through a dictionary and pick out you know, things that are suitable. So it's got musical comedy, musical instrument. Just cut them out and distress them and put that in one of the frames that was from the kit that I got before from the paper cameo and I put one of those there as well with some fabric just stitched that on this is a little envelope from the kit and I just put a little card in there, a little tea card so this is from another old music book, Little Rhythmic Dances. I just put some tape on just to secure it. So although it's quite thick, you know, it, I'm just worried it might give way. It's a postcard and a little bit of note paper there. Another one of those little frames from the paper cameo. So there's a stamp I got in that box piece of dictionary paper. It's the other side of that contents book and it's got another musical tab on there. This is again from another book, Barbara Allen, from a book of ballads. I thought it was nice with those images on. We've got some collage here with some old sheet music, some silk and just put a little stamp on there that says note. This is another one of those oops, vellum envelopes that I've covered in the music roll. So it's got the wording down here. Just carefully put that on there. Why do they say all fingers and thumbs? That's what I am today. 
to the side of that smaller page. So this is one of those tuck spots that I like, stitched on top to bottom, and this is just one of the cards that came in the kit. Some stamping throughout. Old dictionary and some note paper. With a little music notes there. This effect here on the sheet me on the tea stain paper. It's another one, Song Dance and Merriment, three shillings. I'll just put that there just for a bit of interest, just made one of the frames and put one of the little images on there. Craft paper. This is a bit more of the craft paper with a little some little detail on there. A pocket. A little bit of music paper. This is from another old book, The Lady of the Rose. That's quite thin. I think we'll have to be careful with that one, but it's so lovely. Some more of the stamping. Tea stained doily. Is that what you call them? Doily, I think. Um, music, just stamped onto there. The Mermaid from that same book. Flip out there. This is a big sewing pocket on there and the I scanned in some old photographs and that's the image from one of the back of one of the photographs. Another one, nursery rhymes this time. A tab there, a shorter page. Another tab up there. It says a man's best friend or his ten fingers. Just popped that on there. So it's definition of music. I've got some new lamp lights shining on this, so hoping that you can see it. It's so bright in this room, so I just hope that it's worked. This is another half page from a music book, Beauty's a Sacred Song, Christmas Carols. More there, the pocket with a couple of cards in there, the back of a cabinet card, and some of the cards from the kit. I've put another one of those frames there. Some stamping, just a pocket there. Just put a little envelope in, and another one of the piano forte tea cards. Telephone number sheet. This is some more music from Near the Cross. I say I always put lots of room for journaling in. It's just that's the whole point I always feel about a journal. Some more fabric up there. This is from the set of encyclopedias that I bought and it's how to make a music cabinet. So I have so many of those encyclopedias that I just thought it'd be lovely to put that in. You can see the rust where I've had to prise the really old staples out. Another nursery rhyme with a little tab on there. Definition for instrument. Just made a little collage there. Little pocket there behind some tracing paper. It's 
sometimes when I see a really nice effect on these pages I just knew, wish I knew how I'd achieved it but it's all a bit trial and error really. There's another pocket there and just some note paper that I've done some stitching and some paint effect on. This is another one from the big box of supplies that I got and I just put that on just some tracing paper just to add on to the front there. And this is another one of the envelopes, vellum envelopes that I put in the piano roll. It's got another one of the cards in there and put that on the front just to help with the edge in there because it's quite delicate, this piano roll. A little pocket with that beautiful handmade paper in there and another definition, musicology. Silk stitched on there. Another tab up there. It's another little envelope made out of old sheet music paper. And this is a little tab from the kit. Got a musical box on there and a bit of piano roll with some stamping on. This is from the, the front of the box that I got from Atelier. So I've just cut that out and put it in there. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that. And as soon as I have another one, I'll be back on. Thanks then. Bye.